So today's select is a viewers. My name is Anthony um, Sanem Barkis, that's your host today. Today we have an amazing man. He's a co-founder of Vint Age Tutoring Academy. Um, it's in a small place um, in the free state that's called Makwat. Makwat. Um, it's difficult for me to <laughs> pronounce that name. Um, I hope um, I didn't do any harm by pronouncing that name. But today we'll be discussing about the amazing work Mr. Sello is doing. And also, um, you know, he will, be, he will be giving us much more details about the work they're doing in their small village. So, welcome, Mr. Sello. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. And uh, I'll say I'm happy to be here. Uh, thank you. We're happy to have you for you to share your the amazing work and the story, you know, behind Vintage um, um, Tutoring Academy, you know. Um, thank you for, 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 for giving us this, this opportunity and this platform to, you know, to engage with you um, and talk through about the amazing work you guys are doing. So from my side, so, so can you please explain to our viewers um, what is Vintage um, Tutoring Academy all about? Oh, thanks again, Anthony. Uh, Vintage Academy is actually a, an educational center. Uh, we started in February uh, 2020. So what we do is uh, we tutor the learners. And uh, also uh, we use it, uh, we use our center as, our, as, a, as a study, as a study, study center. So it, it, uh, what I mean is when the learners come to the center, it's their choice. It's either they, they come to the center to study, do their homework, or do the assignments, or they can option to, 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 help, to book a, a, a session with us. And also at Vintage, uh, Vintage Tutoring Academy, what we also do is uh, we mentor these learners. We mentor them because we know that uh, in the rural areas, uh, most uh, most learners they they, they 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 need that something to believe in that uh, the motivation that keeps them going because it's very difficult there and also what vintage academy does is uh, we we host career guidances for these learners uh, we, we, we because it is very difficult in the rural areas to go to the internet cafe and then search uh, do a research on a particular thing that you want to do so we help them with that. And lastly, at Vintage Academy, we encourage parental involvement. That is very important because uh, we have to understand that these learners have uh, responsibilities. And uh, uh, after school, their parents expect them to do some chores. So here at Vintage, uh, we try to involve the parents so that they can understand that uh, these learners already have this much so that at least the parents can try to work out a schedule so that the learner can attend the, the academy and then do the house tours. So that's basically what a vintage academy does. Okay, wow, thanks. Wow, it sounds, it sounds amazing. I love the fact that your academy is just not there to render a service as tutoring, but there's also the mentoring factor you know, that you guys are also, you know, providing this learners. Um, coming from a background that works within an organization that does mentoring, I understand and I know the importance of mentoring, you know, um, to our, 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 our youth in your worse and worse in the rural areas. We grow, you can, my, you, will, you will get in our rural areas, majority of them come from homes with single parents, you know, and as you mentioned, the parents, you know, they come, the, the, the learners doesn't just, they, they just not learners or they just not you, but they also have responsibilities as parents, you know, that they have to go fetch their siblings at the local case, they have to fix, they have to cook, they have to clean, you know, so when the parents come back from home, everything is done, you know, it's another day. So it's, it's, it's a lot of strain on our learners. And I like the fact that you guys are, again, using mentoring as, as a platform to say, we are not just here to give you um, or to support you with your academic support, but it's also, we are here to mentor you, you know, um, lovely stuff, man. Um, also, another question that, you guys, um, um, that I have for you guys is the why. Can you talk about why you started the, the academy? 
I would like to know, you know, the philosophy, the, the brains behind it or the idea behind why you started the academy. Uh, let me first start uh, by sharing uh, uh, my story with you. Uh, so when I was doing grade 10 here in Mwemadi Mapwat, uh, around here in the villages, uh, uh, we don't have uh, the enough learning resources, things like textbooks, uh, teachers, you know, all that stuff, you know how things are in the rural areas. So my parents had to take me to another town to, to go and attend school. Because at home there, uh, there, there, was, there, 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 there wasn't enough resources for me to learn and uh, do everything. So uh, me coming back, being exposed uh, to such things uh, in another town, so I had to come back and then I had a look around and then I said to myself, no man, uh, you know what? Uh, these learners cannot go through what I went through because uh, some parents cannot afford to take their learners to another town so that they can receive a better education. So that's when uh, I was approached by uh, uh, Mr. Manyanili Isa, Mr. Isaac Falla, Mr. Nakani Sello, and uh, lastly, Ms. Sipati Mushata. They approached me and then said, uh, Sello, uh, you know what? Uh, we have seen uh, 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 your work because I started tutoring at the age of 14, actually, at the age of 14. So they saw it and then we came together and said, guys, you know what? Let's try and uh, uh, bridge the gap. Let's try and close that gap. Let's try and uh, be there for this learner so that they can achieve uh, greater things in life. Because we believe that uh, every learner has a potential. So if you limit the resources, if the learner doesn't have a uh, textbooks, if the learner doesn't have a teacher, if the, le the learner doesn't have a, 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 I mean, a conducive learning environment, which is difficult because remember, at the rural areas, it is very difficult for you to study at home because already you are packed. Some families uh, live, uh, uh, they are, you'll find 11 people in one uh, in an RDP house, four room house. So it is very difficult for, for veterans uh, to study on them. So we came together and decided, no, let's create a platform where learners can come and tutor them. They can do their homeworks there. We can uh, uh, help them in anything that they need. So that's basically what triggered a, 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 a vintage academy being established. Wow. Wow. Again, I must say, Mr. Silo, you guys are, I love the work you guys are doing. Um, I'm saluting you guys, you know, for the work you guys are doing. And I hope you guys are continuing, you know, with the amazing work. Mr. Silo, you were speaking about um, a, a center where you guys, you know, get these learners into. Um, can you tell us more about the center? So where does, if I'm in the village and I, does it, and I don't know about Vintage Academy, how do I get to the center? Where, where can, or how can I recognize the center? Okay, so uh, the center is, is, it is situated in a, a Makwat, in Makwat, in Mwemani Makwat, the township. It is, net, it is in the township. So uh, initially, it was, it was a crash actually. So currently we are renting the premises. We are renting the premises. So Makwat is a very small town. Okay. It's very small. So once you get there and then you start asking around, hey, where can I find vintage? Where can I find vintage? They will tell you, no, yeah. <laughs> go this way, take this way, and then go another way. And also, if you are around, if you are around or you, you are in, in the neighboring towns and you want to find out, you want to know where Vintage is located, go to our Facebook page. Go to our Facebook page, Vintage Tutoring Academy. You go there, then just pop a question there, then there will be someone there to assist you with that. Beautiful, man, beautiful. Um, thank you for that. So tell me more about, you know, what can you tell me, like, you know, I love what you guys are doing again. You know, um, I cannot mention it enough the way, you know, I really appreciate and love what you guys are doing. You know, I love the fact that you 
the the idea was you are not you saw you saw a challenge in your community and you acted up and you are the change you want to see in your community you know so you know so as you said you started tutoring from the age of 11 and it's something that you see that you could have something that you can use a talent that you can use you know to make a difference in the community of Makwap, you know so again amazing work that you guys are doing and i love what you guys are doing is there anything um before we start two questions that i'm going to ask you um the first one is when did you guys start with um vintage um tutoring academy so when did you guys when did the business start operating you know the second question is is there any stories man that you can enlighten us about some of your 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 students that came through your academy okay so thanks for that uh, anthony so vintage academy started in february it started in february the first of february 2020 we opened and then uh, from there we continued until the lockdown the covid and then all that so one of the stories that i would like to share with you is uh, of uh, our two learners actually we just two it is Mutebele. so the story of Mutebele is very fascinating and very interesting so uh, the guy actually you know we deal with uh, learners with different iq levels so you need to understand that uh, this one this is how he does things this one this is how she does things and all that so motebele was actually struggling at school she was struggling thing the, 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 his uh, mathematics marks uh, were very low very 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 low so he enrolled with us uh, started attending the academy uh, we started tutoring him, mentoring him, and doing, doing all that stuff. What I can tell you uh, uh, right now is that uh, Motebele is one of our most improved uh, learners. He, he has improved very much. And then also, I would like to add on this one, uh, a discipline, the discipline that we, we put on our learners. Uh, our learners, we, we, we teach them how to be disciplined, how to be independent you know we don't just uh, tutor them and then say go out there and then do that we tutor them so that they can be independent so motebele i can probably say that he's independent at the moment and then there's another story story of talani and by the way talani is my younger sister so talani uh, was performing good actually he was just an average uh, uh, learner. But after enrolling at the academy day, I can tell you now, Talani is one of those A student, A student, all because of uh, uh, the work that we do at the vintage, all because of the, the tutors that are dedicated, that are passionate, that uh, the tutors that want to see changes happening. So that's, uh, uh, that's our story so far. Wow, again, Mr. Sello, it's wow. I mean, like for a, for a, a business that's so young, you know, and the stories that you guys that you just shared with me, you know, how quickly, you know, you guys changed just two people's lives. You know, I've 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 as I said to you, I work with young people, and for me is I've got the philosophy in life. If I can change one person's you know, out of hundreds, if I can change one person's life, I've made a world of difference, you know, in, 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 in wherever we work in. So again, amazing work. And I love the work that you guys do um, within the, within your community, you know, in your small town. Is there any challenges that you guys are facing? You spoke about COVID-19 when you started and you spoke about COVID-19, um, you know, so what, how does it, how did it impact you? And if there's any other challenges that you guys have faced, um, you know, during the, the, the period that you guys have been operating um, since? Uh, let me start first by answering this one of uh, COVID-19. Uh, like most businesses, COVID-19 really affected us at Vintage, like very bad because uh, you have to understand that uh, COVID-19 is a health issue. And so uh, most of the parents 
they, they, they were scared. The learners were scared. And us also, we were scared. And the tutors as well, they were scared to come to the academy. So you can imagine that. So, but what I would like to say is uh, COVID-19, <laughs> it didn't just uh, affect Vintage Academy negatively. Somehow, uh, it brought us business. Because uh, due to COVID-19, uh, we had to adjust. Uh, we had to think out of the box. We had, we had to be innovative. So that's when we decided to know the learners can come to that academy. They are scared to come to the academy. So what can we do? We sat down and uh, uh, had a discussion. What can we do, guys? And then uh, due to COVID-19, COVID-19 is a reason why Vintage Academy is recording videos and packaging them in the memory sticks so that learners can learn at their own homes. You can, you can you buy the memory stick, you go to your TV, you go to your laptop, any device. You go to any device, you put the memory stick there, and then you watch our lessons there. So COVID-19 didn't just uh, affect us negatively. It has also brought us a, 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 a business, actually. And then another challenge I would like to add on this one. Uh, customers' loyalty. You have to remember that uh, 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 tutoring, anyone can tutor. Yeah. So you have to make sure that uh, uh, your customers are loyal. How do you keep the customers coming to you? So it's very challenging because you have, uh, uh, one day, uh, the, this month, the learner comes to the academy, then the next month, the learner doesn't come. So you see that, that thing. So it's a bit yeah. of a challenge for us. How do we keep them coming to the academy? How do we keep them loyal to us? So our tutors are doing their best so that, so that we give these learners a, 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 a excellent service so that they keep coming to us. And then another one, it's a local economic factor. You have to understand that in the rural areas, most of the parents here depend uh, mostly on social grants. Uh, the parents are working on the farms, so they are not aiming that much. Their salaries are not that much. Their wages are not that much. So when we have to price, like pricing, imagine uh, having to tutor someone almost for a month, and that particular person pays only 70 rents. You see, 70 rents a month. So it's a bit of a challenge for us here at Vintage because uh, we have to think as much as we are entrepreneurs, we are also a, a community changers. We are also trying to bring changes to the community. So when we have to charge, to charge a, a, our customers, it, it, it is a bit of a challenge because we have to get into their shoes. Okay? These people need our services, but they don't have enough money. You, you, you see what I mean? And then uh, 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 another one is the uh, uh, social, social issue. The one where you see mostly learners in the rural areas have lost hopes. Most of them, uh, when you talk about education, when you talk about going to school, to them, it doesn't ring a bell. So we have to deal, we have to go out there and then convince these learners why they must come to the academy. And also you must remember, the parents are trying their best uh, so that their, their children can have a better future. So some of the learners, eh, 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 they are forced to come to the academy. So when they get there, we have to convince them. We have to convince them why they should keep coming back. So in a nutshell, that, that's, that, that, that's eh, our challenge that we are facing here in, in Vintage Academy, actually. Oh, thank you. Thank you for, 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 sharing, for sharing that for, with us. I think it's crucial that, you know, for me, and for, for businesses, you know, to understand our successes and our challenges that we are facing, you know, and try innovative ways, like you were saying, some of the learners are forced to come to your academy, you know, but how do you make it, you know, like a, a, a youth friendly zone for them to say, it's not all about, you know, tutoring, we can, you know, we're making it fun for you, giving them the reason why, you know, so they know they're aiming towards something, it's just not another thing my parents are forcing me into, but there's a main objective, there's goals that I'm, that I'm, that I'm venturing into.
No, thank you, man. Thank you for, for, for that. It's, you spoke about um, a lot about your tutoring. So a question that I have for you guys is what do you guys, what subject specifically do you guys focus on? Uh, mainly the key school subjects, key school subjects. By key school subjects, I mean subjects like physical sciences, uh, life sciences, geography, all those key subjects except a uh, life orientation and uh, languages. We don't have that. But all the key subjects from grade seven until grade 12, we cater for those. We have tutors uh, 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 who are there to assist our, uh, our learners in, in those subjects. All the key school subjects, we assist in, in those ones. No, oh, beautiful, man. Beautiful. Um, again, um, I love the fact that you guys are focusing on that subject. I, again, from my side, as I said, we also, within the organization I work for, we also focus on key subjects, but we only focus on English and maths, you know, because that's the two main subjects that we feel, you know. And I love the guys, the fact that you guys are just not focusing on one specific something, one thing that one or two people are specializing in or are good in but there's various of subjects you know learners can come and and choose from to say you know i'm struggling in um um you know in a certain subject so um you guys offer that service and again um i like the fact that you guys are just not there for you know i'm gonna be honest with you that what you some business are just there to make money you know they see your opportunity they are there to make money but the fact that you guys are looking at how, what can the community afford because you are from there you know what our, our main objective is for us you know to give back but we also need something to give back you know um i also believe in the philosophy of when you give people something free they don't appreciate it but when you ask them to pay small something for it they know that they've that they've invested in something you know and it's not free it's not given to them on a silver platter another question that i have for you is what so you were business right and i would like to know so if i um stay in the community and i would love to you know to come in and and support and tutor how do i go about that is there job opportunities that you guys um provide for for the community members um for for for, for other um let's say there's students that's doing very well you know specifically in the subjects that you guys are, are offering and they from a local school and you know they would like to support and maybe have like a weekend or holiday job what do you what's your take on that and do you guys offer things like that for your you know to your community okay thanks for that essay um let me start by saying a uh, uh, high like everyone is talking about it so here at vintage we try by all means to give a, a job jobs to, to 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 the youth give jobs to the youth so what we basically do is that uh, uh, um, we recruit the tutors so there are certain requirements uh, at least you must have grade 12 okay. to tutor with us and then secondly you must have subjects proficiency the subject that you want to tutor you must know that subject very well but uh, another thing let's say uh, you, you, you 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 got maybe let's say level six on this subject and then you feel like no i can tutor this subject what we do is our tutors we have workshops we, we have tutors manuals and also we train our tutors so what we do we post uh, when there are uh, job opportunities, we, we go in all our social media platforms, we, we post flyers around the area, we post posters, so that people can see that Vintage Tutoring Academy has these vacancies available to the youth of Memani Marquardt. Yes, sir. Okay, beautiful, man. Um, I love that your business is just not there to serve, a, to, to, to render a service to your community. It's there to make a change is there to mentor and support others is there to better the life of the community you know um again you know nelson mandela also spoke about 
education is the success, the key to success. You know, with education we can we can you know we can prosper in life. You know, and when you really look at it, education. You know, if you're not literate in English or in 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 worse and worse in English, you know, where are you gonna get the job? With who are you gonna interact if you cannot speak a a a a a medium language that we use in South Africa, and that's English. You know. Or have just basic English. You don't need to have to be fluent in English, but just have basic English so you can interact, you know, with people, reading and writing of the language. So again, I love I love the work that you guys are doing and that it's just not about, you know, about vintage academy, but it's all about the community. You know, you are creating job opportunities for you, the community. You are utilizing your 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 the, the the technology speaking about COVID nineteen how is impacted other business negatively but for you guys it created a platform and for me I just feel it's the innovativeness of the business you know to say what are we doing facing this challenge we've got the challenge of COVID nineteen the learners is not coming to our academy because there's restrictions of lockdown parents are are are, are afraid of sending their learners to a place where they you know you know there's a lot of you know safety regulations and 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 unsure security that parents have but being innovative enough to say we'll put our 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 information and our and our tutoring and our lectures on a flash drive where they can utilize it in any of you know in any electrical advice that allows a flash drive you know that 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 can use a flash drive you know we know our flat screen tvs just pop in your flash drive and there you go our laptops even our phones you just buy an extension and then you can pop in your flash drive and there it goes so i like the innovativeness that you guys come and 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 you know we come across um so you guys so 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 coming to my last question if there's nothing else that you want to speak about um before i ask my last question let me just open the platform for you maybe is there anything that you would like to speak about before we end but i still have one more question for you So okay, so so my question to you is, okay. what is uh, uh, go? I think I, I will. I will. I, I, there is something that uh, I would like to add. Actually, uh, as much as we are trying by all means to be there for our community, being there for everyone, trying to make a change. Uh, I think somehow we also need support. Like for an example. Uh, the space that we are working at, it's very small. It can only accommodate about uh, 60 learners. And th there are more learners who, who are willing to come to the academy. The problem is the space is limited. So if there is anyone out there uh, who like uh, 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 to, to donate to us, maybe give us something so that at least we can even have these mobile classes, uh, we will really, uh, we will really appreciate that. And then also the other one is, uh, uh, as you have mentioned, the technology. Uh, there's a story that I want to share with you. Uh, I started uh, uh, working with a computer on daily basis uh, during my first day at the university, and I was I was struggling. I was struggling a lot. So. You have to understand that uh, these learners in the rural areas, once they sit in front of a computer, they get intimidated. They don't know what to do. So uh, if there is someone out there who has maybe old laptop, old computer, and would like to donate to us, that at least these learners, they can have a computer, they can, they can know how to use a computer, so that when they, they, they get to the university there, they don't uh, be, my, be like myself. Because I, I struggled a lot. Uh, someone will say uh, they can go to the library. Yeah, they can go to the library and be there. But uh, think about this. We are in the rural areas. So when a rural learner has to go to the library, library is too formal. So at least if we have a computer, two or three in the academy, the learners are there uh, working on them. They, they, they get used to them. So once they go out there to the world, they know how to use these things because it is very embarrassing. I, 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 I felt a very much pain on my first day because I went to the computer lab 
I just sat there and then stared at everyone. I didn't know how to copy my work. I didn't know what to do. Like, I froze, you know, I froze. And then the last one that I would like to be supported is the training materials. Remember, the tutors that we are recruiting, they are not with the learners with different IQ levels. They don't know how to, because uh, remember, these learners come to the academy, they, they, they've got their own personal problems. So how does a tutor deal with uh, that? So if there is someone out there who is willing to give us at least the materials that we can use, maybe to guide our tutors, to train them, or maybe how, uh, if one person can maybe uh, hold a workshop with us, on how to deal with learners who are facing problems at home, how do we do all that? We'll really uh, appreciate that kind of support. Sir. Thank you. Sure. So thank you, thank you, Mr. Sello. Um, just to echo what Mr. Sello just mentioned. So to all our viewers there out there, I'm watching, and that's gonna be watching, you know, the live feed and the interview that we're having with Mr. Sello from Vintage. Um, tutoring academy is asking if there's any support you know what anyone that has old laptops and computers as they they would in a rural area it's not a luxury for learners to you know to be exposed to stuff like computers and laptops so if there's anyone that would like to support you know we are welcome you may drop your details on our page or you can drop your details on um, vintage um, tutoring Academy's Facebook page, you know, and they and then you can continue speaking from there. Even uh, Mr. Stello spoke about um, tutoring material that any person, organization, company that would like to support them, you know, you are welcome to to contact them straightly, or you can drop your the information or your details on our on our page, and then we'll share it with Mr. Stello. Mr. Stello, thank you for 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 that again. Um, I pray and then I wish that, you know, whatever support, and there's many people that's watching out there and that's still gonna continue watching our interview that's coming out there, you know, and then it's gonna lay a hand and, and support you guys with the amazing work you guys are doing. My last question to you is that, you know, as you guys are still very young, you started this year, 2020, you know, with all 2020's obstacles that it came with, you know. What, where, or what is your future plans? Where is Vintage Academy going to where are you leading? Can I ask it in this sense? What is your 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 five year plan for Vintage Academy? Okay, thanks very much for that question, sir. Uh, uh, in about five years times, in five years uh, time, uh, remember, Makwat is not only is not the only rural area in the free state that is struggling. So in five years time. Uh, we want to see vintage being there in other rural areas in in our maybe around free state all the rural learners in around free states uh, we want to see vintage having branches there like doing changes impacting the societies being there for them and also in, in the next five years i think by then we'll we'll uh, uh, we'll be very much will be grown bigger than we are now. Uh, uh, there are learners uh, here at Vintage. Uh, remember, uh, uh, some it is not all of us who are going to succeed, maybe make it in life or through education. So we want to see Vintage uh, 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 giving skills to learners, maybe those who are doing carpentry, those who do arts, creative arts, and then those who have, uh, some people can succeed with their talents. So yeah. I want to see Vintage in the next five years, being the creating skills, giving learners skills. If you, you want to do carpentry, a Vintage is there to help you. Yeah. You know, uh, If you have a talent that you want the world uh, to see, uh, in the next five years, uh, I want to see Vintage doing that. And then also, uh, there is this one that we are working on right now. Uh, we, we have taken out uh, 12 learners. 
uh, those who, who shows uh, leadership skills. We are grooming them young. Uh, we, we are developing them so that in the near future, in the next five years, we want to see those learners uh, uh, having maybe their own businesses because there are some of them who are very entrepreneurial and then there are also a few of them who, who wants to uh, be the leaders of tomorrow, uh, want to be like us, like uh, uh, be members of, of Vintage Academy. We want to see them growing, maybe holding uh, one of the branches, managing one of the branches there. So that's basically our uh, and then also I, I have to add uh, uh, on this one. I have to add on this one. Uh, uh, these learners, when they come to the academy, so in the next five years, I want to see vintage in that center that has maybe the internet cafe in one center, uh, maybe cafeteria services in the center, have everything in one place. Say, I know I'm going to, if you're stu studying, you go to the cafeteria services. If uh, maybe mathematics is chowing you on this side, you just go there and then play some video games and all that. Um, so that's, uh, that's the, the, the picture that I'm seeing in my mind right now when you talk about vintage in the next five years. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sello, again for the amazing work that you guys are doing. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our interview. Um, again, guys, if you want to hook up, Vintage Academy is in a small town, Makwap, Makwat, in the Free State. If you have any learners, yeah. Makwat, yes, <laughs> Makwat in the Free State, in the Free State. If you have any learners that would like to have opportunities with tutoring, business opportunities. They are there to support you guys. They are there out there. Get hold of them. I'm sure, as Mr. Selo said, it's very easy to get to them because it's a very small town and people know each other and they know they were well recognized as an, an, an business. Hook them up, guys. Utilize the opportunity. There's very little that small towns have. And I love the fact that, you know, Vintage um, Tutoring Academy is making a difference, just not impacting learners in the academic so um, um, so um with academic support but also helping them you know to future their careers to see them prosper in life mr cello thank you for this opportunity that you've given us to engage with us and share with us the amazing work that you guys are doing in the free state thank you for giving back to your community you know for being the change that you want to see in your community um, we would like to say thank you from Select SA for this interview that you had with us and giving your time and sharing with us. Um, we um, wish all blessings upon you and the business and may the business prosper and may it grow as you guys want to see it growing. So thank you for, for your time, sir. Okay, thank, thank you, you sir. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you.